Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve you coming across a Microsoft Defender Threat Service has stopped working error on your Windows computer. So if you're using the Windows Defender Security Center and Virus and Threat Protection just shows that it is unable to start the service. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just left click on the Start button one time. Type in Reg Edit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to go back to Registry Editor. You want to right click on that and then select Run as Administrator. If you receive a User Account Control Prompt, you want to left click on Yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I'd highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the File tab up at the top left. Select Export. For file name, I would suggest naming it the date in which you are making the backup. Export range should be selected to all, and then save it to the convenient location that you can access it in the future if need be. And if you ever need to restore it back, just go left click on the File tab and then Import. So pretty straightforward. Once you have created the backup, we are ready to begin and that is going to start off by opening up the HK local machine folder. So either double click on it or left click on it or next to it to expand the drop down. Do the same thing now for the software folder, so double click on that. Now you want to scroll down until you find a folder that says policies, so double click on that. Should be a Microsoft folder, so expand that one as well. And now there should be a Windows Defender folder. Expand that. And now on the right side there might be something that says Disable Anti-Spyware. You want to just go ahead and double click on that. In the Value Data field you want to delete the 1 and just type a 0. So don't spell out 0, just type a numerical 0. Then select OK. Once you're done with that, if you close out of the Registry Editor, You should be able to open up the Windows Defender Security Center or Windows Security. It continuously changes its name in my opinion. It seems like it says this threat service has stopped. Restart it now. I'm going to select the Restart Now option and everything should be good to go. So I do not believe you actually need to restart your computer to restart the service. So just give it a moment here. And that should hopefully be about it. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.